You're watching Plants and Politics with Gina Bonanno Limos. If you're ready to hear the truth about both sides of the aisle, what's really going on in America, and how big money interests prevent change to keep you sick, broke, and desperate, then play on. Hello everyone, Gina here. So today I am bringing you a uh, cancer healthy bite. So it is June 18th, 2020, and a study was just published today. This was a study that came from the Department of Epidemiology and from the People's Republic of China. And what they were looking at was methylation and how it affects breast cancer. So if you're not familiar with that term, methylation um, basically is the process by which certain tags, certain uh, methyl groups are added to your DNA. So these tags basically tell your DNA how to act. They turn your DNA on or off, or uh, certain sequences and activity. So even though someone can have a certain DNA, you can have certain things that were passed down from your relatives, from your ancestors, and you can certainly have the genetic code for cancer, right? You can be predisposed to it. You can silence those genes. That is, this is what's known as epigenetics. So um, this is very important because up until very recently and until epigenetics really started to be investigated and studied, people thought that they were their DNA, right? We believed that whatever your genetic code is, whatever you're predisposed to, that is what you inevitably will end up with. And now scientists have found out that is absolutely not the case. We can determine our health outcome to a large extent. So what these researchers looked at, and I want to um, look at the notes because I want to be clear on it. So they looked at changes to what is known as the retinoic acid receptor gene. So this is a gene that has been associated with breast cancer, with the prevalence of breast cancer. So they looked at the epigenetic changes to this gene and they did a case control study. They had 408 breast cancer patients and then they also had 573 control patients. So that means that patients who did not at that time have breast cancer and what they reviewed was a healthy lifestyle and the factors involved in that healthy lifestyle. So what they looked at was whether or not they were smokers, whether or not they consumed alcohol, their diet, how much physical exercise they got, um, their body mass index, and things of that nature. So they looked at the effects of those healthy lifestyle choices on breast cancer prevalence. And what they found was phenomenal. It was absolutely significant. So the total effect of a healthy lifestyle impacted um, their, the changes in this methylation tag and this DNA tag of almost 24% of the time um, of significant impact. So very significantly changed the outcome and the epigenetic effect on their DNA over 14%. So this is really, really substantial. Um, their conclusion, and I want to read it to you because this is directly from the study, their conclusion reads, the relationship between healthy lifestyle and breast cancer is partly mediated by RAR6, um, or excuse me, RARB, which is that retinoic uh, acid receptor gene. Um, RARB methylation, suggesting that epigenetic modifications play a role in the underlying mechanisms in response to lifestyle and contribute to the development of breast cancer. So very clearly and simply put, yes, what you do, what you take into your body, how often you move your body, um, things like that, how well you or 
poorly, you treat your body directly impacts whether or not you will end up with breast cancer. So good news because we can control it to a large extent. So I hope this information is helpful to you. I hope you're excited about it like I am. Um, more and more evidence keeps coming out like this. So it's just becoming undeniable. So we can control our health outcome to a large extent. So take care guys, as always, like, subscribe, share all that good stuff. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Thanks for watching Plants and Politics. The only way to take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks again.